it is, Fulham nil, Manchester United won. Manchester United collecting three points today after a last-minute gap win. A goal from Bruno Fernandes. Captain Bruno comes and saves the day for Manchester United. Relief for us because, boy, it was looking like Manchester United was going to draw this game and collect one point. And you know what? It's been a while since we've ever drawn. We usually just win or lose. But today, Manchester United continues the tradition of winning or losing by winning the game. Captain Marvel did it. Bruno Fernandes did it. Thank God. Although Bruno, throughout the whole game, he played trash. But still got that W in the moment, you know. what? That's what we are. Moments FC, Manchester United. But I'm relieved to get the win. It was one painful game to watch, guys. You know, it... Hurt me so much. I was so frustrated. But the relief came and we got the three points. The most important thing, getting that three points. And that makes me happy. But overall, the performance, as always, as it been throughout the whole entire season, trash, shit, doo-doo for Manchester United. We can do so much better, you know. So much better. And it's a relief for Ten Hag because if he was to draw this game and not collect three points, there'll be just pressure added to him. And as well, no momentum for the game leading up to Copenhagen. And I'll go straight to it. Overall, the first foot, the, the game, first 45 minutes, not much between both teams, you know, in that first half. We wasn't that strong, wasn't that great as well. But eventually, eventually was thinking... Do you know what? It could be that one of those days where Manchester United might draw this game and not do anything. And in that first 45 minutes as well, referees, VAR for our Chester United. You're supposed to be for us. But this season, and just like last season, VAR has been against Manchester United. A goal that was taken away. A clear, clear onside goal. And I don't give a shit what anyone else has to say. You know, that goal from Scott McTominay was an illegitimate goal. And I think that referee, you need to be sacked or banned, or dropped, or re relegated to the championship team, you know, for them to just say that Harry Maguire was in the way, Harry Maguire to me looked like he got fouled when, when Ganacho squared it to McTominay, and McTominay scored that goal, I don't think it was offside, I thought it was onside, I, the, the referee, they make me sick, they always try to rob us on wins and victories, you know, especially against Arsenal as well, when we got that winning goal, but no, screw the referee, Screw them all, they're all full of shit, you know. Varchester United, for the Varchester VL are just not doing us justice as well. And, and I thought they, they they owe us. They owe us, guys. They owe us one of these days, you know. And then the second half came, you know, half time was nil nil, and I just thought to myself, we ain't winning this shit no more. Like, where's this gonna come from? Man United will just pour over in the first 45 minutes, toothless at times. Couldn't do anything. Even in the second half. It was the same garbage, the same shit that we saw from Manchester United in that second half. And you, Ten Hag was making changes, but the changes weren't working at all. You know, you're bringing on Martial, Mason Mount, who I think is just absolutely trash and horrible, will never, never to me get, um, show me that he's good enough for Manchester United. You know, as much as you can say, that number seven shirt has been wasted. How can you give that to him? But then the saviour towards the end, that was the last, what, 10 minutes in the 80th minute where Bruno Fernandes as well Pelleshi passing the ball back to Bruno Fernandes and Bruno Fernandes cuts in and I have no choice and you knew what was in his mind Bruno's gonna shoot Bruno strikes it and it goes into the bottom net and it's a goal all you hear is net goal golazo by Bruno Fernandes goal 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 screaming vamos vamos FC you know Bruno with the goal making it 1-0 for Manchester United to collect the three points it's one of those victories that you like the most. It stressed us out. It was a hard game to watch. But eventually, relief came out. We got to finally, what should I say, bust, come, or whatever it is that we had to say. We got it out of our system. Finally, Manchester United got those three points. And it was a win. But let's go straight into the players because I thought player-wise today, you look at Bruno Fernandes, even though he scored a goal, he was absolutely trash today. Garnacho as well with the... A sister got taken away from him with that goal. He was poor. Whenever Ganacho starts, he's poor. He's been poor back to back games. Um, in midfield as well. Thank God for Onana. He was great. He saved us so many times. Um, Maguire as well was excellent in defence. Um, Awan Bissaka as well. Coming in, it was just wonderful to see him back. Um, good to see Brun um, Rashford not being able to start today, you know, not having any feature in this game. I think it was injured or was he on the bench? I just don't know, you know, I don't know. 
But yes, some of these players have just really not good enough. It was moments that saved us, and I hope that doesn't happen again because those boys need to step up, guys, you know. Man, the match today, for me, I have to give it to Harry Maguire and Andre Onano for the saves and the defence stability. Harry Maguire, who came off injured at first, you know, was he, and still continued to play throughout the whole night, man, showed us scots as well. And I like that and I respect that. Don't give the match... <sighs> I have to say, I don't, I don't know. I can't really give Donkey of the match a day. But hey, it is what it is, man. Uh, guys, let me know what your thoughts in the comments as well of today's game. Did you think Manchester United played well? Or is it still looking like we're in trouble? Who was your man in the match? Who was your Donkey of the match as well? And of course, and remember, we're back. I'm, I should be back live for the watch along. I, I believe it's Wednesday for the Copenhagen and most likely Monday for your latest Manchester United news. I don't think there will be a catch up this weekend. I just can't be bothered right now. I'm tired of this Manchester United team. They should. Rest me out, guys. They really do. But it is what it is, man. Big up to everyone that's tuning in. This has been your latest match reaction from your boy, Ever Inspired. Subscribe to Red United TV on YouTube. Follow Red United TV on Rumble as well and on Twitch. And also follow Red United TV on Instagram. And follow your boy, Ever Inspired, on, on, on the school Spice on Twitter. And also Instagram, personally. As always, guys, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it Red United. Your boy is out. We've got three points. I can finally enjoy my weekend. Boop, boop. Peace.